On May 31st, Matthew Weaver, the director of the Idaho Department of Water Resources, issued an order to restrict water usage in six groundwater districts. Is it significant? Around 500,000 acres are affected by this order, which is half of all the groundwater acres in the eastern Snake River Plain, and many farms are about to be shut down. So, for various reasons, it's a significant issue. What's even more surprising is that there's little discussion about its impacts and what alternate actions could have been taken. If farms are being shut down, there will be unimaginable impacts not only for farmers, but also for the entire economy. On this week's Growing Idaho, we're talking about how growth affects our water and how that in turn affects an industry that Idaho and Eastern Oregon were built on, agriculture. Agricultural operations across Idaho, they depend on water to stay in business and to provide us with things we need like food and supplies. But what if there isn't enough water to go around? Idaho is known for its vast agricultural lands and abundant water resources, but it's facing a significant crisis due to the recent water curtailment order issued by the Idaho Department of Water Resources. This order has sent shockwaves to the farming community and has raised concerns about the future of agriculture in the region. The water curtailment issue revolves around the restriction of water usage in several groundwater districts in Idaho. It's a complex problem with far-reaching consequences that affect not only farmers, but also various sectors of the economy and the community at large. At its core, the water curtailment issue stems from the overuse and management of water resources in Idaho's eastern Snake River Plain. With groundwater levels declining and surface water allocations stretched thin, authorities have been forced to take drastic measures to ensure water sustainability. Idaho relies heavily on agriculture, particularly potato farming, which is a crucial part of the state's economy. The curtailment order, which affects a significant portion of farmland, has raised concerns about the livelihood of farmers, the economic stability of rural communities, and the overall food supply chain. The water curtailment issue is not just a problem for Idaho. It's a microcosm of broader water management challenges faced by regions worldwide. As climate change continues to impact water availability and demand, finding sustainable solutions becomes increasingly critical. Let's explore its impacts. The water curtailment order issued by Idaho has sent shockwaves through the farming community, triggering a cascade of challenges that threaten the livelihoods of farmers and the stability of the state's economy. This section delves deep into the profound impact of the water curtailment on farmers and the broader economy, exploring the immediate consequences and long-term implications of this crisis. The water curtailment has plunged farmers into a state of uncertainty and anxiety as they grapple with a sudden restriction on water usage. For generations, farming families in Idaho have relied on irrigation to cultivate their crops and sustain their very livelihoods. However, with water allocation slashed, farmers are facing unprecedented challenges. Fields that once thrived with lush crops are now facing a risk of drying up, putting farmers at risk of significant financial losses and crop failures. Potato farmers in particular are feeling the brunt of the curtailment. Idaho's reputation as a potato state is at stake, as potato growers struggle to irrigate their fields adequately. Potatoes require precise irrigation to ensure quality and yield, but with water restrictions in place, farmers are forced to make difficult decisions about which crops to prioritize and how to manage limited water supplies. Livestock farmers are also facing challenges as pastures dry up and feed shortages loom. Without adequate water for irrigation, pasture lands are turning brown, jeopardizing livestock grazing and forcing farmers to seek alternative feeding sources at higher costs. The impact is not limited to crop and livestock farmers. Specialty crop growers, dairy producers, and other agricultural sectors are all feeling the pinch of water shortages. The water curtailment is not just a crisis for farmers. It's a threat to the entire agricultural economy of Idaho. Agriculture is the backbone of Idaho's economy, contributing billions of dollars annually and providing employment to thousands of workers. The sudden disruption to farming operations has far-reaching economic repercussions that extend beyond the agricultural sector. The ripple effects of the water curtailment are felt across the supply chain, from farm suppliers and equipment dealers to food processors and distributors. With reduced agricultural output, businesses that rely on the farming industry are facing declining revenues and uncertainty about the future. 
job losses are mounting as farm scale back operations or shutter altogether, leading to economic hardship in rural communities. Moreover, the impact of the water curtailment extends beyond agriculture to other sectors of the economy. Main Street businesses in rural towns, from hardware stores to restaurants, are all feeling the pinch as farm incomes decline and consumer spending contracts. The loss of farming-related jobs and income has a multiplier effect, dampening economic activity and growth in rural areas. In addition to the economic consequences, the water curtailment is taking a toll on the social fabric of rural communities. Farming is not just a livelihood. It's a way of life deeply rooted in community and tradition. The uncertainty surrounding the water curtailment is causing stress, anxiety, and social upheaval among farmers and their families. Farmers who have invested their lives in their land now face the prospect of losing everything they've worked for. The threat of bankruptcy looms large as crop failures and financial losses mount. Families are grappling with the emotional toll of uncertainty, fearing the loss of their farms, homes, and the way of life. Moreover, rural communities dependent on agriculture are facing existential challenges. Schools, churches, and local businesses that rely on a thriving farming community are at risk as farms close and families move away in search for opportunities elsewhere. The loss of farms not only impacts the economy, but also erodes the social fabric of rural life. The water curtailment crisis demands urgent action and innovative solutions to support farmers and safeguard the economy. Immediate measures are needed to provide relief to farmers facing financial hardship and ensure access to water for critical agricultural activities. Government assistance programs, financial support, and technical assistance can help farmers weather the crisis and transition to more sustainable practices. Long-term solutions are also essential to address the root causes of the water curtailment issue and build resilience in the agricultural sector. Investments in water infrastructure, conservation practices, and drought-resistant crops can help mitigate the impacts of water shortages and ensure the long-term viability of farming in Idaho. Furthermore, efforts to diversify the rural economy and create new opportunities for employment and investment are critical to reduce dependence on agriculture and strengthen rural communities. Initiatives to support small businesses, promote tourism, and attract new industries can help diversify rural economies and create jobs outside of agriculture. Water rights and allocation form the cornerstone of water management in Idaho, profoundly influencing the current water curtailment issue. Delving deep into the intricacies of Idaho's water rights system unveils a complex web of regulations, priorities, and historical precedents that shape how water resources are managed and distributed among various users. The foundation of Idaho's water rights system lies in the state's history of water development and settlement. Dating back to the mid-19th century, pioneers and settlers began appropriating water for agricultural, municipal, and industrial purposes, laying the groundwork for the modern water rights system. Idaho's water rights are governed by a combination of statutory law, case law, and administrative regulations. The state's water laws are rooted in the doctrine of prior appropriation, which prioritizes the first-in-time, first-in-right principle. This principle grants senior water rights holders priority access to water during times of scarcity, ensuring that historical water users are protected from interference by newer users. Surface water rights in Idaho are allocated through a permitting process overseen by the Idaho Department of Water Resources, or IDWR, and adjudicated by the Idaho Water Court. Water users must obtain permits from IDWR to divert and use surface water for beneficial purposes, such as irrigation, domestic use, industrial processes, and recreational activities. Surface water rights are subject to a priority system based on the date of appropriation, with senior rights holders holding priority over junior rights holders. During times of shortage, senior rights holders are entitled to their full allocation before junior rights holders receive any water. This seniority-based allocation system is designed to provide security and certainty to historical water users, particularly in times of drought or low-flow conditions. Groundwater rights in Idaho are managed through a combination of state regulations and local groundwater districts. Unlike surface water, which is subject to a permitting process, groundwater rights are often tied to land ownership and are administered by local groundwater districts or subdistricts. Groundwater pumping is regulated to prevent overuse and depletion of aquifers, especially in regions where groundwater is the primary source of irrigation. 
groundwater users may be required to obtain permits or licenses from local groundwater districts and adhere to pumping restrictions to ensure sustainable use of groundwater resources. The interaction between surface water and groundwater rights is a key consideration in water management in Idaho, as groundwater pumping can impact surface water flows and vice versa. Balancing the needs of surface water users and groundwater users is essential to prevent conflicts and ensure sustainable water management. Government regulations play a pivotal role in administering water rights and allocations in Idaho. State agencies, such as IDWR, are responsible for overseeing water rights administration, permitting, and enforcement to ensure compliance with state water laws and regulations. Regulations dictate how water is allocated, used, and managed, providing guidance on issues such as water rights transfers, water conservation, and in-stream flow protections. Regulatory agencies work closely with water users, stakeholders, and local governments to develop and implement policies that promote sustainable water management and protect water resources for future generations. The water rights and allocation system in Idaho have significant implications for the current water curtailment crisis. The prioritization of senior water rights holders means that junior users, including some groundwater users, may face restrictions or curtailments during times of scarcity. The current crisis highlights the challenges of balancing competing interests and managing water resources in a state with growing water demands and finite supplies. As population growth, climate change, and land use pressures intensify, policymakers and water managers must navigate complex legal, social, and environmental factors to address water challenges and ensure water security for all users. The water curtailment in Idaho has been triggered by a combination of factors, ranging from drought conditions and increasing water demand to legal complexities and management challenges. Now let's delve into the root causes of the water curtailment and explore the multifaceted challenges faced by water users, policymakers, and communities across the state. Idaho's agricultural landscape relies heavily on irrigation to sustain crops and livelihoods. However, in recent years, the state has faced growing pressure on its water resources, leading to contentious water management issues, and ultimately, the implementation of curtailment measures. One of the primary drivers of the water curtailment in Idaho is drought and climate variability. The region has experienced periods of below average precipitation and warmer temperatures, leading to reduced snowpack, diminished river flows, and depleted reservoirs. Drought conditions have become more frequent and severe, exacerbating water shortages and straining water supplies for agriculture, municipalities, and ecosystems. The variability of climate patterns makes water management increasingly challenging, as water managers must adapt to unpredictable conditions and plan for long-term resilience. Rapid population growth urbanization, and expanding agricultural activities have placed growing demands on Idaho's water resources. As cities expand and agricultural operations intensify, the competition for limited water supplies has intensified, leading to conflicts over water allocation and usage. The burgeoning population and economic development have led to higher water consumption rates, particularly in urban areas where municipal water use competes with agricultural irrigation. Balancing the needs of various water users while ensuring sustainable water management has become a complex challenge for policymakers and water managers. Idaho's water rights system, while designed to provide clarity and security, also contributes to the challenges of water management. The prior appropriation doctrine, which grants priority to senior water rights holders, can result in junior users facing curtailments during times of shortage. Navigating the legal and regulatory framework governing water rights, permits, and allocations can be daunting for water users, particularly during times of crisis. Disputes over water rights, water transfers, and compliance with regulations further complicates the management of water resources in the state. The infrastructure for water storage, conveyance, and distribution plays a crucial role in water management in Idaho. However, aging infrastructure and limited storage capacity pose challenges for effectively managing water supplies, especially during droughts. Dams, reservoirs, and irrigation channels may not have sufficient capacity to capture and store water during wet years for use during dry periods, 
inefficient irrigation systems, and conveyance losses also contribute to water waste and inefficiency in water delivery. The water curtailment has far-reaching economic and social impacts on farmers, businesses, and communities all across Idaho. Farming operations face financial losses due to reduced crop yields, increased costs, and uncertainty about water availability. Rural communities dependent on agriculture suffer from declining revenues, job losses, and reduced economic activity. Main Street businesses, schools, and local services feel the ripple effects of the agricultural downturn, leading to social and economic hardships. Addressing the water curtailment issue in Idaho requires comprehensive solutions that address the root causes of water scarcity, promote sustainable water management practices, and ensure equitable access to water resources for all users. This section explores potential solutions and future considerations for mitigating the impacts of water curtailment and building resilience in the face of water challenges. Implementing integrated water management strategies is essential for effectively managing Idaho's water resources. This approach involves coordinating water allocation, conservation, and planning efforts across multiple sectors, including agriculture, urban development, and environmental conservation. Integrated water management frameworks prioritize collaboration, stakeholder engagement, and data-driven decision-making to optimize water use and minimize conflicts. By considering the interconnectedness of water systems and users, integrated approaches can enhance water efficiency, resilience, and sustainability. Promoting water conservation and efficiency measures is critical for reducing water demand, minimizing losses, and optimizing water use in Idaho. Adopting modern irrigation technologies, implementing water-saving practices, and investing in infrastructure upgrades can help farmers, municipalities, and industries use water more efficiently. Public education and outreach campaigns can raise awareness about the importance of water conservation and encourage behavioral changes to reduce water consumption. Incentive programs, rebates, and regulations can further incentivize water conservation efforts and promote sustainable water use practices. Diversifying water supplies can enhance Idaho's resilience to water scarcity by reducing reliance on single sources of water and increasing flexibility in water management. Exploring alternative water sources, such as reclaimed water, stormwater harvesting, and groundwater recharge can supplement traditional water supplies and provide additional resilience during droughts. Investing in water recycling and reuse infrastructure can also maximize the use of existing water resources and reduce reliance on freshwater withdrawals. Integrated water resource planning and collaboration between water utilities, agencies, and stakeholders are essential for identifying and implementing diversified water supply strategies. Investing in infrastructure upgrades and modernization projects is crucial for optimizing water storage, conveyance, and distribution systems in Idaho. Upgrading aging dams, reservoirs, and irrigation canals can improve water storage capacity, reduce losses, and enhance water delivery efficiency. Investments in water treatment facilities, pipelines, and pumping stations can enhance water quality, reliability, and resilience in the face of changing water conditions. Leveraging public-private partnerships, federal funding, and innovative financing mechanisms can help finance infrastructure projects and accelerate their implementation. Building climate resilience and adaptation strategies is essential for preparing Idaho's communities and ecosystems for the impacts of climate change on water resources. Developing climate-informed water management plans, assessing vulnerability to climate risks, and integrating climate considerations into decision-making processes can enhance resilience to droughts, floods, and extreme weather events. Promoting ecosystem-based adaptation approaches, such as restoring wetlands, improving watershed health, and protecting natural habitats can also enhance water storage, filtration, and recharge capacities. Enhancing monitoring, forecasting, and early warning systems can improve preparedness and response to climate-related water challenges. Reforming water policies and governance structures is critical for addressing the underlying drivers of water scarcity and promoting more equitable and sustainable water management practices. Updating water laws, regulations, and institutions to reflect changing water realities, stakeholder needs, and emerging challenges can enhance water governance effectiveness and transparency. 
encouraging stakeholder participation, collaboration, and conflict resolution mechanisms can foster consensus building and support adaptive water management approaches. Investing in capacity building, training, and technical assistance can strengthen the capacities of water managers, policymakers, and stakeholders to address complex water challenges effectively. Engaging and empowering communities is essential for building grassroots support, fostering social cohesion, and mobilizing collective action to address water challenges. Community-based water management initiatives, such as watershed councils, water user associations, and citizen science projects can empower local stakeholders to participate in decision-making processes and contribute to water stewardship efforts. Promoting environmental education, youth engagement, and public outreach activities can also raise awareness about water issues and inspire community-driven solutions. Cultivating a culture of water stewardship, Respect for water resources and shared responsibility can foster a sense of ownership and accountability for sustainable water management practices. So, what are your thoughts on this issue? Tell us in the comments below and stay tuned for more content.